Hello and welcome back to another lecture. To clone a GitHub repository, you must install Git on your computer. And in this lecture, that is what we will do. To install Git on your computer, go to Google and in Google, type Git in the search box. Once you type Git, press enter. On your Google search results, under Git and the URL is git-scm.com, click downloads. On this page, under Downloads, you can select the link for any operating system you want to download Git to. Since I'm downloading Git to my Windows computer, I'll select Windows. On this page, click this link. Once you click this link, it is going to download the Git executable file to your computer. And you can see it here. I'm going to right click on it and click Show in Folder. And it is going to open the folder the executable file is downloaded to on my computer. Just in case if you don't see this on the lower left end of your computer, the executable file is usually downloaded to your downloads directory. So go to your downloads directory and you should see it there. Once you come to that directory and you see the executable file, double click on it to start the installation process. Then click yes. Then click next. Click next again and click next again. So from here, I'm just going to click next all the way to the end. I'll click next, 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 next. Then here, click install. It is now installing Git on my computer and I'll wait for the installation to be completed. Once Git has been installed on your computer, I'm going to uncheck this and click finish. The next thing we need to do is verify that Git was successfully installed on our computer. I'm going to minimize this. The first way to verify that Git is successfully installed on your computer is click the start menu and type Git in the search box. Once you type Git, you should see the Git bash app here. Click it. And it is going to open this for you. This is one way to verify that Git is successfully installed on your computer. I'm going to close this. Another way to verify that Git is installed on your computer is through the command prompt. So we are going to click the start menu again and type CMD. Once you type CMD, you will see the command prompt here. And if you type CMD and you don't see the command prompt, you can also type command prompt in the search box. Click the command prompt. And in here, to verify that Git is installed, we are going to type git space dash dash version. Once you type git space dash dash version, press enter. If you get an output, that means that Git is installed on your computer. Once you have verified that Git is installed on your computer, the next thing you are going to do is run these commands in the terminal to configure your Git username and email. I will leave these commands in this video's description. And before you run these commands, make sure you replace your first name and your last name here and also enter your email address here. Once you have updated those two information, copy these commands and in the terminal, paste it there. Once you paste it, press enter. And there you go. That's all we need to do to configure our Git username and email. If you have any question or there's anything you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.